Hi everyone, it's HBI2K. So lately I've been getting a lot of technical questions about how my videos get made, so I thought I'd try and do a quick overview of some of the tools I use to create my abridged series. Isn't this just a thinly veiled ripoff of Lonnie Tutwar's answers? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so you want to make an abridged series, what do you need? First off, the hardware. Chances are, if you're watching this, you've already got a computer, and fortunately you don't need a particularly good one to make an abridged series. The only two things that are really important are the processor and the hard drive. A reasonably fast multi-core processor will generally let you spend more time editing and less time waiting for your footage to compile, but if all you've got is a slower one, no big deal, just a little more waiting. Now if you really want to do things right, you'll be doing your editing with lossless compression, and lossless files take up a lot of space, so the hard drive is kind of important. Generally speaking, the raw footage and other files for one episode of Gansa Bridge take up about 15 gigabytes of hard drive space. Now I like to keep all my old files handy in case I need them again, so over the course of 26 episodes that can add up pretty quickly. That's why I've got a nice big 750 gig drive for my editing. Those you can get for about 120 bucks nowadays. Of course, if you don't mind deleting your old files, just, you know, you might have to re-rip them later on if you do need them again, you can make do with less, it can just be a bit of a hassle. You will also need to make sure that your computer has a DVD drive for ripping footage. It's true that some people use a standalone DVD player and a video capture device, but that's not generally the most ideal way to do it. By the way, on the subject of computers, I am a Windows user. I understand that Macs are really good for video editing, but they're not what I use. So if that's what you've got, well, you're on your own, Mr. Think Different. Now on the subject of microphones, I've got a cheap-ass Logitech headset that I got at Best Buy for about 20 bucks, and from what I've heard, most people use about the same thing for abridging purposes. What's going to make a bigger difference in your audio quality than the quality of your hardware is finding a nice quiet place to record, uh, getting good mic placement so you don't get a lot of popping, and having a recording program with a good noise cancelling feature, which we'll get to in a second. Now if you've already got a series picked out to abridge, you probably have the DVDs already. This is just my opinion, but I feel like if you're not a big enough fan to buy the DVDs, you're not a big enough fan to abridge the series. The only real excuse for using any other source for the footage is if it's so new that it hasn't been released on DVD yet, or if you're doing a video game, and in those cases, sorry, once again, you're on your own. Thankfully, most of the software you need can be downloaded for free. DVD Decryptor is a great program for ripping your DVDs. After that, you'll want to use Virtual Dub Mod to convert them into lossless AVI files for easier editing. This is also the step where you can clean up your footage, convert interlaced footage into progressive footage. This is where it gets kind of technical, so you'll probably want to refer to AnimeMusicVideos.org. They've got a great how-to section which will help you out with that stuff. Now that you've got your footage, you'll want to fire up your editing program, and here you've got some options. Popular ones are Windows Movie Maker, Ulead Video Studio, Adobe Premiere, and Sony Vegas. The only real advantage to Windows Movie Maker is that it comes free with most versions of Windows. I've only used it a little, and I didn't care for it. Ulead is what I use, mostly because it's what I'm used to, but Premiere and Vegas seem to be more popular among serious editors. Now, many otherwise good video editing programs are kind of crap when it comes to audio editing, but thankfully there's a program called Audacity, which is a wonderful free audio editor. This thing's great for things like recording audio clips from DVDs, adding echo effects, changing the pitch up and down, and like I mentioned before, noise cancelling, which is crucial for your dialogue. Now, you may also find yourself wanting to do some image editing for effects. Uh, for example, the shot where Stalker takes his shirt off, uh, the shot with Corono's bagel condoms. Those I both did with the GIMP. Now, this isn't exactly the most user-friendly image editor out there. I use it because it's free, but I usually have to wind up Googling for tutorials to get it to do what I want. So if you do have access to something a little better like Photoshop, that's probably what you want to go for. So that's about the extent of the tools that I use to create my videos. There are a couple more, like the text-to-speech program I use for the Gans voice. In that No More Heroes video that I did, I used an incredibly bizarre jury-rigged setup to uh, cap that video game footage. But in general, that's going to be the most useful basic programs for uh, any abridger. I hope I haven't bored everyone too much. If you do want to see more of this kind of thing, then I guess all I can say is continue barraging me with so many of the same question over and over that I eventually become so fed up that I want to make a definitive answer once and for all to get you to shut up and leave me alone. <laughs>